Yo, when it comes down to traveling, it's 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 a lot for me because like going to different countries, you know, they can't bring a drone in that country and going to some country, they're like, oh, should I bring a drone? Can I link up with somebody who has a drone or something like that? And this is where the traveling comes in handy as it relates to carrying camera gear. So this bag is from Lopro. This is the BP450 AW version two and this bag feels very sturdy most of the time when i'm traveling it, it it's like you know different countries are across jamaica and stuff like that and i have to make sure that whatever i'm doing the, the backpack feels comfortable it's very padded very padded very padded ton load of compartments and uh, let me show you what's in the bag so in order to gain access from the bag, you can gain access from the bag from three parts. Each side, down here, and you can gain access from the top part of the bag, right here. Cool, but the main access is... Down here. And this is what inside of my camera bag looks like. But currently I'm shooting on the a 4 which will fill out this gap right here and these are all the stuff that, that I walk with. So I'm going to go through some of the stuff that I walk with and also go through what I can swap out depending on the journey that I'm going on or you know where I'm going. So firstly when I'm going on a trip I always walk with two cameras. Always walk with two and yes I walk with a very old camera. This is the Fuji X-T2 and the colors from this camera is really nice it does videos but i'm really interested in the photo aspect of it and because it's so small i can easily you know take one and two photos with it on the go without going for my a7 IV and yo i really love the colors from this camera and the lens that i use with it is the viltrox 23 1.4 autofocus lens and these two nice very nice i'm normally a 35 user so if you use a viltrox on the fuji which is a crop sensor you get a 35 focal length well not 35 probably 33 focal length and trust me it's really good when i pair these two together cool this camera doesn't leave my sight it's pretty old but i love the color the colors from it and the quality is very nice because it shoots raw and jpeg 4k shoots flat you know I still use it and I still love it. Okay, so when it comes on to the Sony aspect of it, I normally, well, for recently, I'll be traveling with only two, one, two, no, three lens, right? I'm currently shooting on the 35 to 150 from Tamron right now. And my next lens is the 35 1.8 from Samyang, AKA Rokinon. This lens, is a beast of a lens like i really love it like you'll get a lot of background separation from this lens and i'm like yo i used to work with a zeiss but it's 85 1.8 but well since i got my hands on this lens i'm like it's not leaving my sight so the next lens of choice is also from tamron and this is the 20 2.8 this is my vlogging lens you know if you want to vlog I can talk to myself and talk to whoever is around me with this lens but I plan to change it out soon to the 17 to 28 from Tamron. Tamron really makes some really amazing lens right so that's my vlog that's what my vlogging lens and when I using any lens right I don't shoot without an ND filter I have quite a few ND filters and also step up rings, you know, step up rings. So instead of walking with different size ND, I just walk with one step up, one really set of step up rings that, you know, I can use different ND filters to go on the step up ring. So for example, this is 72 to 77. And if I want to use it on one of my ND filters, I just place it on this, screw it on, Bam! Screw it onto the 
camera lens and that's it. Instead of buying a 77, 72 ND filter, you know, like it's so much, right? So the ND filters that I use is from KNF. Like I love KNF ND filters. The price is relatively good. And right now I've on a, a 82 ND filter from KNF right now and it works pretty good. I love the colors that I get from it. You get me? And also, I never walk, leave my promise filter. Never walk, leave my promise filter. So I use the promise filter on the a 74 because it's so, like the lens that I have is so sharp. But I use the promise filter, you know, to get rid of some of that sharpness to give it a softer look, you get me? Also, I would normally walk with quite a few storage. So this is a five terabyte from Lacey. And also, this is a four terabyte from Toshiba. Two nice brands, but this is Type C. This is the 3.0 cable, and uh, yo, I just have to walk with backup storage. And I only use this to store stuff, but when I want to edit stuff, this part right here has two additional storage device but I normally edit from it because these are SSD drives which are super fast drives cool. and the SSD that I use is from SanDisk this is a 500 gig SSD and, all, and I also have a one terabyte SSD so these are what I use to edit while I'm on the go and speaking of edit I love a bag that can actually carry my laptop and the laptop of choice which is also right here is my 14 inch macbook pro this is the base model you get me and yo this baby has been around with me and yo the colors that i get from it even the audio sounds super good super good yeah so this is like my traveling laptop but when i'm at home i'll probably use it now and then but yo it's like the perfect laptop the size perfect you have the 16 inch but it was a little too big so i say yo Nah, I'm not going to use that. So as really the storage for the camera, I use mostly the Sony Tough Cards because I realize that, you know, some other storage device, like each time I put the card in, out, in, out, over a period of time, it gets damaged. So I use the Sony Tough Cards mostly because it's very strong, very like, it, it actually feels stuff. I heard it's made out of metal or something like that. I'm like, yo, it's really sturdy. And these cards are the V60 cards. Okay, so when it comes down to batteries now and my charger, everything is in one. So what's in this case? My Sony batteries, my Fuji batteries, my GoPro batteries. And my GoPro is actually in this case. So everything is in this case and Oops, yeah, so everything is actually in this case, man. And this is the GoPro Hero 9 Black. I haven't really thought about upgrading to the 11 yet because I'm like, oh, uh, the footage from this still look pretty good, right? And I walk with dual chargers for each. So each dual charger is actually from the same company. And this company is called OJ Lay. Mm, dual charger, you know, it actually gives you an indication of, um, which battery is charging, which battery is full. And yes, this is type C and it actually supports the old USB if you want. And yo, this is a really nice charger. Guys, this right here is very important. Always protect your camera lens, always. So this is a lens cap for a 82 filter size. And normally, instead of taking off my ND filter and then put on the lens cap itself, that comes with the camera, I just put this, snap it on over the ND filter and then I just put it in my camera bag. And it's very easy, so I just take out the camera and then put it in back and I know that, yo, then I just take off the cap and that's it. So this is rubber, it's really sturdy. Guys, this is a good investment, trust me. And yo, KNF really makes a good product. So as it relates to wires, this, is my wire case and I have all my wires in this case it's not the neatest or the tidiest there is but yo all my wires are kept in this case from type C to 3.5 
my MacBook charger. Yeah, all of that wire is kept in that part right there. So even though when I'm on the go, I make sure that I walk with a cleaning kit. And the cleaning kit that I have right here, you know, I just purchase a random cleaning kit from you know Amazon and make sure you clean the sensor make sure you clean the camera at all cost remember that because you don't want the camera to get any fungus or anything like that so yeah I always walk with a cleaning kit it doesn't matter where I'm going I always walk with a cleaning kit and you should do too I also have a miscellaneous little pouch in my bag for like, you know, random stuff. So I just had to go back and search back for the name of this tripod leg. So this tripod leg is from X and Peak Aluminum. It's a mini tripod leg and I don't know, I just Googled that tripod leg and I found this one. I'm like, yo, I like it. And it's really sturdy, right? It's really sturdy, I like it. And I pair this tripod leg with a Joby. And I pair this tripod leg with a Joby ball head this is a 3k joby ball head and when i'm vlogging this is what it looks like right so i make sure i pair the two and because this is aluminum it's very sturdy so i use these two every time i am going to vlog right and i keep the lens hood for the time run in this bag or any other lens hood in this bag you get me and i have a backup charger brick this backup charger brick is from rev power it you can use type usb and also type c they get me a nice good charging brick so when it comes down to audio i have two audio devices that i really love and both of them is from the same company this is what i use 99.9 percent .9 of the time so this is from several rhymes this is the several rhymes mimbo m2 and this is a by directional mic meaning you can pick up audio from the front and also the back that's pretty cool so if you're talking to somebody like if you're doing a vlog say the camera is facing you you can actually pick up the person who is behind the camera or in front of the camera it doesn't matter where you get me so this mic is pretty cool you get me and it comes with these little dead kittens i normally call them cat but these are very small so it comes with these little dead kittens very nice mic very unique so i have to make sure that i have backup audio and this is the iri dw30 wireless mic very sturdy case this is a charging case and this is also from several rhymes pick up several rhymes for sending me this mic and trust me this mic is pretty good this is what this is actually what you're hearing the audio from right now cool and you can charge the case which also charge the bike i have to make sure that i have a power bank and this is from Belkin this is the 10k version and yo this has saved my life countless amount of times right yes I have to make sure to always walk with a tripod because like tripod saves life a lot because right now I'm doing a vlog and I have to make sure that the camera is on a tripod cool and right now this tripod is from knf this is a 68 inch version you know you can actually do top down shots if you want because you can break the tripod like this get your top down shot you get me and it's very lightweight this is really the to go on the go tripod vibe right i normally put it in the in this other side where you know i can always just take it out the side and just get my thing started so for right here i normally store my phone charger right here because like i don't have to go in the bag you know like to get the charger when i'm at the airport or on the go so i normally store my phone charger here and when you know, my phone charger is not there i have an next side where i store this type c cable that I got from Monkin well type C adapter that I got from Monkin and that's the name of the company by the way Monkin Mokin Mokin yeah and it supports landline and HDMI SD card and micro SD card and you can also charge stuff from it because it has a type C to charge your stuff or the camera yeah so I think that is basically it when it comes down to my camera bag like that's it because that's what i normally work with but when i'm also on the go 
it depends on where I'm going. So based on where I'm going, I will normally walk with my Mavic 3. Cause like the quality from this is so amazing. Like it's really good and you can manage the wind, you know, the battery life is so good. So this is what I normally walk with when I'm on the go for, you know, to catch that aerial shot. So guys, that's basically it for me, to be honest. Like this is what I normally walk with when I'm traveling. <sighs> this is a lot, but hey, you want good content? Well, for me, I want good content, so I got to do it. So. I'll see you guys in another video. Peace.